College Hill homeowner opens fire on someone breaking in, but now police are investigating if he was protecting himself or maybe taking the law into his own hands. WLWT News Source Jackie Conjado is live with the very latest on this investigation tonight. Jackie. Cherie, that teenager was taken here to Children's Hospital. I've been speaking with his family members throughout the evening. They are here by his side, and they're understandably very distraught by this, reiterating what police are saying, that uh, this teenager did not break into this man's home. Was it self-defense, or did a College Hill homeowner cross a line? Police say he shot a teenager during a morning burglary. But tonight, investigators say that teen was never in the man's Grosbeck Road home. The prosecutor's office is going to be given all the facts, and the prosecutor is going to make the determination of what, if any, appropriate charges are to be filed. Investigators say 37 year old Marlo White had a handgun in his bedroom and saw the door being pushed open by an adult. The homeowner attempted to shoot then. And the gun didn't go off because he had just taken a CCW class the previous weekend and the gun wasn't loaded. The magazine with the bullets was in his car, which is in a basement garage. Police say he scared the adult who ran out the front door of the home. They say White ran to get bullets from his car, then ran out the kitchen door. And at that point, he comes into contact with two juveniles who were there with the adult, but they never made it inside the house. Um, at that point, he fired shots, striking one of the juveniles. Police say they followed a blood trail from the home out the backyard and around the corner to the spot where the teen apparently collapsed. Now, investigators say that that teen was shot in the backside, that the bullet went through him, but they say that he is expected to survive all of this. Meanwhile, I did contact the homeowner, but he offered no comment tonight. Reporting live outside Children's Hospital, Jackie Conjado, WLWT News 5. Now, in Ohio, courts have upheld the Castle Doctrine, meaning a person has no duty to retreat if they're at home or in their car, but they also have to be in fear for their life and not at fault for creating the violent situation in order to claim self-defense.